Well, it's now been about two days and you can really see that the mess is still out here. Bricks just scattered across this yard. The home has also now been boarded up. The family who lives here tells me there were six adults and two kids in the living room right behind that wood panel there. And it's really a miracle. The girl only has a few scrapes and bruises and no one else was hurt. I saw the car inside the house. A family of eight forced out of their own home. A neighbor who didn't want to speak to us on camera tells us what she saw and heard. There's a big crash and my husband told me call 911. Adriana Grijalva was in the living room with her three-year-old daughter when it happened. She was under the door when the car came in. The girl was under the car under the front door. She says the girl was lucky to escape without being seriously hurt. Thank God it was only a few scratches. That's all she had. Now we have to take her to the doctor for a checkup just to make sure she's okay. According to police, around 4.30 Saturday afternoon, Glendale police spotted a stolen car in this parking lot near 67th Avenue and Bethany Home Road. Court paperwork says the suspect saw officers approach and fled. Eventually, he ended up barreling through the home and getting arrested in a neighbor's yard. The guy jumped off the fence and they caught him with the neighbor. We went out the window ourselves and he got out from the front door there. Grijalva says as far as her living situation, she's not sure what comes next. Inspectors deemed the home unlivable. We have to stay somewhere else and just wait and see what insurance says about the damage. And again, that girl just doing just fine tonight. The suspect who caused all of this mess, well, he is facing aggravated assault and endangerment charges, among other things. Because he is 17 years old, his identity has not been released. Reporting live here in Glendale, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.